Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. As you can see, I have two coats of primer on the bottom of my fuselage. And a lot of sanding in between. I want to tell you guys something. That fiberglass was rough. Rough, rough. Millions of pinholes. Just millions everywhere. And uh, I came up with a new way to fill them. I want to share it with you guys. Here is one coat of primer. You can see just, just millions of pinholes everywhere. I was talking to my buddy and he says what he uses, he just takes his finger when he's shooting it in his gun and uh, just kind of fills them like that. And I got to thinking, well, I really didn't want to leave it that rough. So I mixed me up some primer in a little cup and took my plastic spreader and put the primer out and just kind of went over this whole thing like this went over it two or three times it really didn't take that much I used like two little Dixie cups full of primer and let me tell you something folks that worked good that worked really good I was impressed so that aided in me getting this far at all this week because there's a lot of work here and uh, I'm ready to flip it over and start working on the top I want to show you my engine is I got the top of it looking pretty good. What I did here is I put two layers of cloth on my sides and I just kind of rolled it around. I let it almost set up to where it was just kind of rubbery. And then I uh, just poured me some resin in the bottom. I was standing up like this and let it set up. Got me a nice clean edge. All the way around, two coats of primer. And it's looking pretty good. But uh, I want to show you the primer I was using. This is just a, a urethane base, easy sand, and it does sand pretty nice. It's a urethane base, filler primer, and it's a really thick, really good stuff. Then I use my block sander. Yeah, you gotta use a block sander, folks, it gets everything nice and flat. And this is my filler. It's like a Bondo, but it's thin, and uh, it's pourable, and works really nice. Leaves a, nice feathered edge and sands good and uh, it's just easy to get finished like this but I gotta do the top now and we've been busy out here I told my wife last week I said uh, uh, slide a pizza under the door every couple days and if you stop hearing noise out here dial 911 and uh, funny thing is she thought I was kidding <laughs> it's been some late night that's out here but I'm going to keep plugging away, and uh, I'm going to get this thing finished. It's going to be one good-looking jet. That thing is sexy. That is one sexy machine. So, until next week, I'll try and keep you all informed. I'm going to be working on that top for a while. I might be on that top a couple weeks. Because i got to get it perfect. i got to get it perfect. This is going to be one nice... Okay, see all my edges, how good they're coming out. This is looking good, everybody. Can't wait to get it finished. Cannot wait. And uh, but I'll keep you guys informed, let you know what's going on. I might not get the top sanded as fast as I thought I was at first, but I'll get her done. So, until next week, we'll see you guys in the shop.